Hello, my name is Leo. Welcome back to episode four, Golden. Well, hello there. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. You're welcome. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Wait, have we? Uh... This is new. Huh? Well, uh, yes. I say new. It's you know. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to. Hey, it's the detective Prince. Don't you? Uh... Why are your breasts non-existent? She has breasts. I I was on the impression that now has the biggest breasts out of all of them. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Why are you sounding like that? That's good news. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! What, what do you mean? Oh my god, I jacked off to a girl! Ah, oh, I feel so dirty. Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Maybe you'll fall in love with her instead. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? I really want to know why Boy B said, oh crap, in such a way. My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. So I was thinking about that whole rumor thing, you know, episode 2 has that rumor thing. I, I read somewhere that that Nepalabop, the bad one. Uh, gave the city of Susumu the uh, the rumor thing. So, and I, and I think it's the whole of Japan. Well, the whole of the world, anyway. Well, on your side, girl. Thank you. Welcome. But it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please treat me as you did before. Okay. Your dick. <laughs> That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. Mm. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. Indeed we are. And it isn't over yet. It's joint. Let's go over the finer points after school. Does, does she have like a blue star backpack? Can we get a look, can we get a look at that? Uh, we could. I don't know if I want it though. Oh, you do. You definitely want it. Well, this one can get stretched out of proportions, which is totally not what I want, but whatever. Yeah? Yeah, no, that's what it is. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. And it's after school and we're gonna go straight into story. Yeah. First I heard the doorbell ring. And then But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. And then just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. And then immediately afterward I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. And then? Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. And then? I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And then? And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. I wonder if there's going to be any hints here about who the culprit is. But the time from kidnapping to that point no seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. 
So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? That makes no fucking sense. Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. Wait, is this corporate or is this the person who thinks he's doing the right thing? I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it. It's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. Yeah, except for Morka. So that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron. Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. Yeah, but. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it. That's what was bothering me. Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? Because he didn't know. I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. <laughs> and remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other I world. I mean, that's that's how the culprit actually learned how to kill people. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation, and I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but... Isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Hold on. No, no, don't skin down! It can't be helped. Fuck. <sighs> I'm done, right? Mm. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I I'm sorry. It can't be helped. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. You're a girl too, idiot. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. Yeah, man, you just can't have see Chen, no? <laughs> you know Naoto? Yeah, well. Oh, sorry, not Naoto. Well. What is it? You got balls. For oh a girl. Oh my god! Oh no! You just can't... I can... Can you just like beat the shit out of him, Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. 
See what she said, boys. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Well, Please now. allow me to join your effort. No. It was very rude of me to put pressure on you every time we met. And for that, I ask for your forgiveness. If you allow me to cooperate with you all, I vow not to be a burden. Come on, let her join. She's a good detective. No, fuck that. We don't have that many smart people. And besides... Excuse you. I'm a fucking genius. I want to know what the deal is with her and Kanji. Oh my god, Rosa. Well, why bring me into this all of a sudden? What the hell do you mean? There's nothing. I look forward to working with you too. Ooh. Waiting for the Kanji blush. Huh? Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Sorry, yeah. Uh, sorry, Kanji, but she's mine. <laughs> oh, fudge of four. I'm the king of the geniuses. I knew it would work out this way. Shut up. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. Are they, the... they told me about you, Teddy. Are they the gag glasses? I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow. What a nice girl. You wanna score? Well. Yeah. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Thanks, Nanako. Giants of pain. What the fuck is that? Huh? Want to see and know more about your favorite Persona characters? This pick packed program provides portals of players and. What? Giants of P. The initial draft for the Persona 4 protagonist design. You can see that even at this point, his bearing is very similar to the final designs. Okay. The finalized design for the Persona 4. Wait, is that? Oh, <laughs> okay. <gasps> Wait, that's. That's just what's in it. Um, so once upon a time, Chia had like the long hair of my favorite character, Persona 3, and Yukiko looked like a Persona 2 character. Who's that? Kanji? Damn, Kanji's cool. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Oh god, get out of there. Get out. Oh god, look at Risa. Hey, it's uh, Saki. Naruto. Nanako. Nanas. Oh god, another Persona character. Oh god, short haired Dojima. Get out. Oh my god, is that Adachi? Oh my god, look at that dude. Look at that chode. Oh yeah, it's Mary. Oh, so you going for Mary? Giants of P. The finalized design for Izanagi, the Persona 4 protagonist's persona. The key yeah. aspect of his appearance was a manly bear. Yeah, no, she did. <laughs>
It's not just the final designs, though. That's boring. Hmm. Um, I'm still working on my. Yeah, yes. There's only one stat that you'll level up. And it's expression, which you can do by doing the, um, the teaching job. Which I have a better idea. Nope. Right, teaching job it is. Hello, Doge! Oh man, I'm so tired. It's like 11.30 at night. Um, can I hang out with you yet? Hey. Oh. Alright, well, let's do this. Unfortunately, I just don't play this game. I hopefully won't remember what I did, but I can figure it out. Can you teach me this? Question four: Why does it use this formula? I don't fucking know. What do I look like to you? I love this cheesecake. Now, uh, can I, uh, can I get my hands on your cookies? <laughs> Stop it. Okay. That's nice. Mom! Shut up, Mom. This room is way too big for a fucking high school boy's bedroom. Why are we eating in his room? Yeah. It's only about shoe. Do you think you're making I don't know. I suppose. Sure. I really don't want to read this. Yeah. Oh. What a mummy's boy. Mister. Yeah, you'll be fine. No kidding. Yes, I know what that word means. Yes, I know what it means. Hmm. It's what I'm going to explain what it means anyway. I'm punching the face. Some more episode uh, for Golden. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time. Bye.